All right, the last part of this project is the fun part. This is the part where you are gonna make your wreath look different than your neighbors. So you can use any of the scraps at your table. You can decorate with light bulbs, berries, bows, acorns. So those are the pictures that we looked at on the smart board. I would suggest drawing in pencil first, whatever you're gonna cut out. Now I'm gonna make a light bulb with a square and an oval. I'm kind of, well, you know what? I'm going to be really lazy. I'm going to cut three at the same time. So I'm just following the outline of that little drawing I made. And there's some light bulbs. So you can glue those on your wreath. You can make the bowl like we showed. I'm just going to make a circle. Make a letter B and make a backwards B. Two rectangles. I'm doing this all in pencil. And then I'm going to cut around the outline. So these are all things that you can add on to your wreath to make it look different from your neighbors. If you want to use the black Sharpie to add a couple of details, you can definitely do that. Maybe your bow has some lines to show the wrinkles. Maybe you want to color the bottom of your light bulb black. Maybe your light bulb is on and has a little reflection shape. So once you have your details ready, I'm actually going to glue on the side that has the pencil lines so that they don't show. And I like to put the bow at the bottom of the wreath. and then you can glue the rest of the details around. When you are finished, you need to hang your wreath on the back marker board next to your name.